Hello Pisces and welcome to your weekly reading. Pisces, this is for the week of January 16th through the 22nd. Um, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, Force for the Trees, I appreciate you guys being here. Um, if you are returning, thank you so much for your trust and support, for your likes, shares, and subscribes, for all the things. I appreciate you guys. Anything you need, Pisces, is listed below. If you'd like to know what decks of cards I'm using, if you'd like to know more about astrology or to get a personal reading with me, it's all listed below. All right, let's see what the cards have to say for you for the week of January 22nd. That has been coming up in everybody's card. Um, everybody's card. Everybody's reading. 2016 through the 22nd. Energies here. All right. Put this down. We have the Knight of Wands. So we have fast moving energy coming in. We have ideas, creativity, desires. Um, passion uh, could be coming into a traditional way or non-traditional way, doing something different maybe, um, doing something that other people haven't done before. Nine of Cups, Wishes Fulfilled card. Bottom of the deck, we have Nine of Wands. Look at the Nines, Completion Energy. Um, completing, this is subconscious, something that you've been holding your ground on, something that you've been fighting for, something that you've been um, digging your heels in that, that you don't want to, um, you don't want, it's like you don't want it to change or you don't want people to mess with. You're very adamant on something you're passionate about, something that you, um, you feel very strong connection with. Uh, you have the fire energy, the wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Um, you know, it could be growth, could be school, something about Oh, those are beetles, too. Interesting. Change. The fairy wheel. Huh. Interesting. Interesting card. Um, Yeah, you know, kind of the wounded warrior. You've been through a lot. Uh, you've held your ground, and you're not going to stop now. You're not stopping now. You're in it. <laughs> you're in it. And you have this energy moving forward. So um, something could have come. You could have a break coming in. Look at that. The Queen of Wands is beneath that. So again, holding your own. Holding your power. Holding steadfast to your creativity. Your ideas. Um, you know, putting the drama. Putting drama in its place. Um, whatever this energy is, it's coming in quickly. And it's like you're going after it. You're taking action. It's like um, you're not waiting for it to come to you. It could be ideas. Um, you could have ideas. You could have creative ideas. Or you could be going back to school. Or you could be um, teaching. You know, the Hierophant could be a teacher. It's also a traditional or non-traditional way of doing something. It's also somebody that holds authority. Uh, you could be maybe getting a raise. Or you could be moving up in a company or starting a company. Something you fought really hard for. Because again, the queen is, you know, like a take charge type of person. There's there's somebody, there's something in this this energy of um, of working towards something. And then you have this beautiful nine of cups energy. And this is a wishes fulfill card. You know, the genie. Uh, what you wish for, you can manifest. He looks a little scared, though. That's interesting. Because you have the same... The fairy wheel... Symbol on his hat that's on the Nine of Wands. Interesting. You have your cups energy. You have your... Is that a fish? How funny. You have your... Um, Scorpio Pisces Cancer energy. Your water energy. Your emotion energy. I always see the nine of cups as like awards. Um, looking back and saying, look at all I've done, looking at all I've accomplished. And what I feel with this energy is like, you want to challenge yourself. You're putting yourself out there on a new challenge. You're putting yourself out there to take up something, to take up a cause or take up, um, so something that is near and dear to your heart, something that you're very passionate about, something that you don't want to, to, um, to let go of and it, it could be something again that's traditional or non-traditional or you could be teaching people about something maybe water conservation or something like that it could be that energy um, or it could be like a company or organization you could be you know moving up in one or going into one or seeking 
uh, counsel in one, trying to find somebody to help you. You could be seeking somebody's higher knowledge to help you with what you are trying to manifest here. Um, I'm going to pull a card on the Nine of Cups. Let's see if we can get any clarity as to what it is that we're working on. Nine is a number of completion, almost done something. So, you know, again, hold your ground because you're almost there. Again, the card right under it is the queen. So you're almost there. You're almost into that energy of authority or respect. All right. And again, you have the water energy, you know, which is you, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, Nine of Cups energy. Oops. Clarifier for Nine of Cups. But you're, it's something you're passionate for. You're moving toward it, seeking guidance, seeking help, seeking higher knowledge, seeking somebody that knows something more about it. Again, maybe it's starting a new business or starting something, uh, company or organization or um, you know, it could be YouTube or, oh goodness, I dropped every single card, but it's an accomplishment. The nine of cups is an accomplishment. And I just feel like you, like you've been through so much and you, you can do so much. And it's like, you do, you just want to challenge yourself is what I'm feeling. And maybe you've been challenging yourself for quite a while. All right. We have the Page of Cups. Again, knowledge. Uh, it could be a message coming in. Something about, um, you know, there's a fish in the cup. I think that's a fish in that cup. Right? Um, a message coming in. It could be something that, or a message coming in from somebody that it's unexpected. You might hear something unexpected from this, this head of the company or a person that you're seeking guidance from. They might call you in. They might give you a raise. They might give you a promotion. It's something that you've been wanting to happen. Um, but I also feel like, you know, you in, on the other side, you're challenging yourself. It's like, yeah, I can get through this, but then I want to pursue it. It's like you can take the accolades from this and carry it over. Um, kind of like sick days or something, you know, you can carry it over, um, whatever it is that all your accomplishments here. It's like, look at, look at all I've done. Look at, look at all my, you know, my work is right in front of me and that they're, they're like, oh, that's all well and good. Um, but you know, you can take that and do this with it. You know, we can turn that into this. And that's, that's, that's your fire. That's your passion. That's what you're, you're going for. Um, to, again, maybe authority, maybe uh, knowledge, seeking knowledge, gaining wisdom, doing something in a non-traditional way, fighting for what you believe in, holding your ground. Very interesting. I'm going to pull a surrender card to see what um, you need to surrender to for the weeks to maybe help you move forward. So again, you have that water energy, that page of cups energy. Could be a surprise message coming in for you. Maybe something you've been waiting to hear from but didn't expect it so soon. I'd say with the pairing with the nine of cups, it's a good message coming in. Kind of what you've been wanting to hear. Hmm. Surrender procrastination. Now is the time to jump on the goal instead of putting it off. Taking action will attract success. And I see that. What did I say with that one? Taking action, going after what you want, your passion, your desires, your dreams, going after it. You got your helmet down. You're ready. You're ready for battle. You're hoping you don't have to fight. It's like I fought. I fought for so much. I fought for so long. I can still do this. I can still do this, but moving forward, I'm a whole lot better armed. I'm ready for it. You're determined. Determination will pay off. Determination gets you far. It goes all the way up that path. Beautiful. All right, guys. Do you let me know how this resonates? What an interesting week you have here. 
Very, very interesting. Take care of yourself and each other. Uh, you all stay safe and healthy. And until next time, I will see you next week. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.